Hey guys, welcome to a new video and we're doing a new product introduction again. As I mentioned before, we have a few coming. Today I'm introducing a bit more of a niche product and that's the Dig Octa Power 5 HV, a special high voltage version of the Power 5 that supports 24 volt to 48 volt. This will help you run newer type of 36 and even 48 volt addressable LED lighting directly using a Dig Octa. Okay, let's take a look. Well, in a nutshell, that intro kind of already explained what this product is. It's a power board for the Dig Octa system that allows you to natively run 24 volt up to 48 volt addressable LEDs. No need to worry about buck converters or any, anything else like that. The Power 5 HV combined with a brain board takes care of all of that. And it's fully compatible with all boards in the Dig Octa system, older or new. So if you have an existing stack, you could just add it to your stack with a 48 volt PSU and have the ability to control these higher voltage addressable LEDs. Let's go over some specifications. The board is based on the existing Power 5, which means it has two times three port barrier input terminals, allowing you to connect up to 10 gauge or 5.5 millimeter square cable times three using four crimps. Although using that thick of a cable is a bit less important on this board, since you'll generally be using less amps because of the higher voltages. The Dig Octa system is a bit more advanced than the Dig Uno and Dig Quad in that next to output fuses, it also has input fuses. And the input fuse stage for the Power 5 HV is a bit different versus the other boards. Instead of using normal replaceable fuses, it has three times 10 amp auto reset fuses. This means that if you only hook up a single wire from your PSU to the board, you'll be limited to 10 amps max. So keep that in mind when wiring everything up. Using the auto reset fuses does have the advantage that they'll actually kind of load balance the incoming power over the wires a little bit. So that's a cool feature to have. Next to that, the Power 5 HV includes a bit more onboard hardware than the normal Power 5. It takes in the up to 48 volt and then converts it to around 15 volt to feed the Q power post feature and also the orange output connector. It can do so up to about two amps, making sure you can run a decent sized stack of brain boards if so desired. Then there are some features that have been adapted for 48 volt, such as the onboard voltage meter is still here, but now it supports up to 100 volt. There are two large buffer capacitors and the board still has 12 outputs, which each have an individual output fuse combined with their own small output capacitor in my unique constant brightness broken fuse indicator circuit. And well, all those capacitors try and stabilize, stabilize the power as much as possible. But about that circuit, no matter if you're running a Power 5 with 5 volt, 12 volt, 24 volt, or this Power 5 HV with 48 volt, the broken fuse indicator will be the same brightness and only lights up when there is a load connected and the fuse of that port is broken. Makes it very easy to identify which port is having an issue. Some other boards have status LEDs when the fuse is working. I find that confusing. If you'd like to see this broken fuse indicator LED in action, I recently did a live stream where I we unpacked, well, this Power 5 HV and a brain board and ended up blowing some fuses for fun. I'll have that linked in the video description. Speaking of those fuses, these are the same type of fuse I have already introduced with the Diff Advanced system and the new analog controllers. Currently, only the AN Penta Mini has been released, but the AN Penta Plus and AN Penta Deca are going to follow shortly. This new type of fuse is rated for 125 volt and they come in various values perfectly suited for our LED setups. The boards include 12 times 5 amp fuse, but each port supports up to 10 amp fuse if required. Please do keep in mind the max total current for the board is 30 amps continuous, although it can handle more peak. Now, if you're going to say, wait, 
Doesn't that sound low? The other power boards are 50 amps or even 100 amps. I get it, but you need to do the math. 48 volts times 30 amps is 1440 watt. That's quite a lot of power. You're going to have a hard time finding an affordable power supply that will even deliver that. So I think that limit is plenty high except for really extreme situations. And then it's likely still cheaper to use multiple power supplies with multiple power 5HV boards. Same goes for the included fuses. 48 volt times 5 amp is 240 watt. Again, that's a lot of power, much more than any LED string would logically use from a single input. That's actually a good subject to dive into a bit deeper. I thought about including 3 amp fuses to limit the amount of power a bit more, but it's a hard decision to make what to go with. That's also why I don't use auto reset fuses. If you're going to use this board with 24 volt, the 5 amp becomes a lot more realistic. So I felt 5 amp was a good choice. Most wires people use, 18 gauge or thicker, will be able to handle 5 amp, and if a short occurs, the fuse will pop before the wire burns. But it's really up to you to figure out what your setup is going to use and what wires you're going to use for it and then fuse each output port with the appropriately sized fuse. That's also why I don't include, as I just mentioned, other reset fuses on the outputs. It's very hard for me to predict what size fuse is actually appropriate for what you're going to connect to it. Do you need 50 watt, 100, 150? Are you connecting 22 gauge? Are you connecting 12 gauge? I, I, I don't know, I mean, I can't see right now. <laughs> I will have a link in the video description where you can stock up on spare fuses of various sizes. They cost like $2.50 for 10 on AliExpress, so you can easily get a few different variants to have in stock for if you pop one or to adjust the output fuse to what you think you're going to use. As I mentioned, all my 48 volt supporting products will use this type of fuse, so it's good to stock up on a few. That reminds me of another tip, although the Power 5 has pluggable terminals so you can you know take this connector off wire it in and then plug it back in it is not advised to hot plug output power connectors hot plugging means the board is powered on and you insert an output plug with a device that immediately draws power although at 5 volt and maybe even 12 volt that often doesn't create too big of an issue with 48 volt and potentially large capacitors on the other side this can create a noticeable pop. Uh, watch that live stream I referred to earlier. <laughs> now, most of the time, everything will be fine and nothing gets damaged, but during testing, I observed that about two times of 50 times I tried it, it blew up the data channel of the Dig Octa brain board that string of LEDs was currently connected to. This could be because of the specific string or the higher voltage, but it's just good practice to not hot plug power devices that aren't designed to do so. Other than that, there isn't too much to say about this new power board variant. Oh, oh it uh, comes with the new logo already. That's a feature. <laughs> all in all, I think this new power board slots in nicely in the Dig Octa system and adds another option for you to use when designing your LED setup. As I already mentioned above, this board is fully compatible with the whole Dig Octa system, so you can stack it with other variants of the power board, even with mixed voltages inside of the same stack. One voltage, or rather one power supply per power board, but still. So say you wanted to have a single brain board with 12 volt LEDs and 48 volt LEDs attached, you can now do that with having a power five and a 12 volt power supply and a power five HV with its own 48 volt power supply in your stack, and it'll automatically work as long as you connect the right type of voltage LED to the right power board. Or you can run two brain boards or whatever mix you want to make, all good and no problem at all. The boards are available right now at Allnet, so the worldwide store, and are on their way to Dr. Z's, so orders are open there too. And you should be able to send them out in a few days. Price-wise, it's a little bit more expensive at 37.49, but even just these fuse holders, and well, I had to upgrade all the components to support 48 volt, uh, the fuse holders themselves are five times more expensive than the other fuses we had there before. 
So yeah, I can't really do anything else than raise the price a little bit. But then again, the normal Power 5 isn't going anywhere, so pick what you need. If you have any questions, please take a look at the website documentation. That's already fully up and available, so hopefully you can find most answers there. But questions are always welcome here under the YouTube video or on the Discord server. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.